Hello everybody and welcome back to Basic Fundamentals for the MiG-29. This will be our final course. In today's course we'll be discussing the RWR or the Radar Warning Receiver. Okay, um, there isn't a whole lot to the RWR. She's, uh, she's pretty self-explanatory once you learn the symbology. The symbology is probably the hardest part. Um, so what I'm going to do here is we're going to go ahead and pause our sim. Let's come on down. Let's see if I can get close enough and take a look at our... There we go. Okay. So bringing up our cursor here, this is our RWR. Okay. And taking a look at some of the symbology here. So first thing we have here is the inner lights here indicate the primary direction of a threat. All right. Now, if um, you can have multiple lights lit up, okay, the 90 here is your degree line. So we have a radar threat 90 degrees off our left side here, okay. The um, H and B here, so I don't know if you can hope you guys can see that. I know it's a little dark. Um, you know what? Let's do this real quick. There we go. That's better. All right, turn our cockpit lights on here. So you have a Bravo and a hotel here. What this indicates is the radar source's location, either high or below you, okay? Um, if both are lit up, it is at co-altitude, all right? So if the B is lit up, your radar source is beneath you. If the H is lit up like it is here, our radar source is above us. If both are lit up, it means that the radar source is at co-altitude, or you have two radar sources, one below you, one above you. Okay. Um, getting into the indicators down here is probably the hardest part to um, work with. It's the hardest part to remember, I should say. So I'm going to try to go very slowly. So the first one here, okay, the first symbol here, indicates an airborne radar. Okay, so you have a radar source that is airborne. Okay, now do not mistake this for an AWACS, and we'll get to that. Okay, it is not an AWACS, it's just an, a, a secondary airborne radar. Then the next one here is a long range radar. Okay, so for example, a um, SAM search radar. Okay, uh, like the Patriot radar system, the search radar, or the SA uh, 10 or 11 radar systems. Okay, the search radar itself or just an early warning radar system that's on the ground. Okay, the, what well, looks like an X here, and guys, you know I don't know my Russian symbology, so forgive me. This one here is medium range, short range, and excuse me, this is the early warning radar. So one more time real quick, and the C here, I was going to wait, but this is the AWACS, okay? So one more time, airborne, fighters, etc., and then if you think about it, it goes real simple. Long range, medium range, short range, early warning radar. And then finally, the AWACS. Okay. So, pretty simple to get once you, once you get the grasp of it. Just remember these three are distance radars. Okay. This one here is your air-to-air. -air. Obviously, you want to pay attention to this one the most. Sort of think of it as priority to you, right? Um... At least for me, a fighter is always going to be a higher priority than a ground radar. Okay, now these three here are going to be short or um, surface to air systems, and this one here is going to be an early warning radar, and finally, one more time, AWACS. Okay, I know I sort of overdid on that one, but I really want you guys to catch that. The yellow bar coming around here, okay, around the uh, inner circle here is the signal strength of the radar. So it's the radar intensity strength. Now what you can sort of use this for is to judge the distance to the radar contact. The more lights that are illuminated, the closer the radar contact is. All right, and then finally, what you'll have here is this red light. Well, red is never good. We all know that it's launch warning. Okay, so when this red light is blinking, okay, you'll take a look at the indication, take a look at the signal strength, Take a look at your high or, or, or below radar source and make your necessary maneuvers based on that, right? So if, based on our current uh, status here, let's assume that the air-to-air -air warning was lit up. We had a 90 degree on the left side. There was a f very high beam 
and the red light is blinking like crazy, that means I have been fired on from my 9 o'clock. Okay? So, you can use it to, to really extrapolate a, a lot of information. And obviously, if they're close enough to fire on you, they're close. Alright, now, I'm going to try to give you guys a demonstration here. Let's take a look at another scenario here. Let me pause my camera before we slam into the ground. Alright guys, sorry about that. My DCS crashed halfway through the recording there. So what we've done here is we've turned back towards the target range. We have a SAM uh, Patriot system out there. And if we pause, we can see the indications here. Okay, so remember this is our long range. So we have a long range radar tracking us. Signal strength is at maximum, so we know they're close. We can see the lights illuminated indicating that they're out in front of us. Okay, we have a uh, below and high altitude track, which would make sense because we still have the AWACS out there, although it's not illuminated anymore because it's no longer the primary threat. Okay, so, unpausing. And I'm actually going to turn, put them on our perpendicular. Wait for right now is the lock tone. Okay, and there it is. So you can see down here, the red light is now solid. Okay, signal strength again is max. We can see that the lock source is coming from our two approaching three o'clock. Okay, but they haven't fired yet. All right. Locked again. Okay, so that beeping, hopefully I don't get hit for waiting too much too long. You can see that the red light is uh, de-illuminated right now, is turned off, okay? And what it's actually doing is it's blinking, okay? So the deep, 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 deep is your launch indication, all right? So the solid tone means you've been locked, just like you'd expect. The rapid beeping means you've been fired upon, time to put some work uh, in the aircraft. So, let's see if we can evade this. I'm gonna deploy chaff. I'm gonna get her down low. Got a second missile in the air. Try to use the ground here to mask us. That should be good. Should be missile defeated there. Still firing on us. Alright, and that's a missiles, two missiles defeated. Whew! Okay. So, you guys catch the GIF there. I hope it was uh, all the information that we needed in order to make uh, a good uh, an, uh, understanding of what the RWR is telling us. So, real quick recap here, just like usual. I'm gonna pause for a minute. So, Outside line, direction of radar source, green dots indicate uh, number of tracks, okay? Uh, below and high um, position indicators, so below or B indicates the radar source below you, H the source is above you. Um, these uh, backlights indicate your uh, rear positioning. Coming from left to right, you have air to air target. Um, Long range, medium range, short range, early warning radar, and the AWACS. Red light, solidly illuminated, indicates that you've been locked. Blinking red light indicates launch, um, a launch warning, launch signal strength. Okay. So I hope that that was uh, a good tutorial for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. The MiG-29 has been a very fun aircraft to learn for uh, myself as well. I hope you guys uh, um, really learned a lot. Um, from this little journey here. I know I certainly did and it's been a pleasure to have you guys on board with me I haven't decided what aircraft will be next. I don't know that I'm gonna stick to the Flaming Cliffs uh, Aircraft I think we might get into I was thinking either the Mirage or possibly the KA-50. That'd be kind of fun to do the uh, 
the old attack helicopter. She is the only real attack helicopter in the game currently, and uh, I was looking online last night, and there really aren't a whole lot of tutorials out there for her. I know she's got a couple of bugs. She's another forgotten bird, so I was thinking maybe we would jump into her next. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything else I missed in the MiG-29 that you'd like me to come or cover, I'll be more than happy to put out another video. Just uh, throw the comments in, and we'll get after it. As usual, guys, make sure you like and subscribe, and until next time, this is over.